Yo, what's up guys, so Boxy Legends back with another video today. In this video today guys, we're gonna be showing you guys how you could literally make a damage brick, like a damage pill in Roblox Studio. Or like a damage brick, how about we just use brick for this video today because we said pills and power up too many times. So we're gonna make a damage brick and a healing brick in Roblox Studio today. Now let's get into the video and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So let's make two different um, bricks. One is a damage, so let's make it red, because red is harmful. Nah, I'm kidding, guys. But let's just say red because, like, you know, normally, like, the lava is red, you feel me? And green, let's just make it, like, green because it's an imaginary color. We normally use green for, like, positive things. I'm not trying to stereotype the colors, but, yeah, guys. Anyways, aside from that, what I'm going to do right now is... I'm gonna call it the bricks. I made I made both of them neon. Let's anchor both two by the way. And now as you see, we got the two bricks now. This is the this is the healing and this is the damage. Now let's add a script to both of them. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. And actually let me let me script the damage first. So right now I'm gonna script the damage and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Because this is a very similar algorithm, a very similar formula for both of them. So let's start now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna type local part to declare our function. I mean, declare our variable. We're gonna declare this part. So we're gonna type local part equals to script dot parent. And now let's put out. We're gonna put a touch event now. So we're gonna type part dot touch. And then colon connect parentheses again. Let's move the arrow one time left and we're gonna type function. Now one to the right. And we could say something like part B. We're gonna put a parameter. And now let's hit enter and now let's start scripting. We're gonna now declare another variable declaring the humanoid. So we're gonna type local humanoid. So basically part B is gonna be like any part of the humanoid. So we're gonna make that true now. So we're gonna type local humanoid equals to part B dot parent and then colon find first child humanoid so the reason we we say humanoid instead of like anything else is because every player in the game is a humanoid if you don't believe that we could just hit play here you could look for your character inside the workspace and you could clearly see that i'm a humanoid right here i'm a humanoid i'm not a bot i'm not like anything else i'm a humanoid I'm a Roblox human. So now, after that, let's keep on going. We're going to put an if statement. So we're going to type if humanoid. So if the player, if a player touching is a humanoid or a thing, we're going to say if humanoid, then, then hit enter. And now we're going to type humanoid dot health. We, we could say equal to 50. And then we could say part colon destroy. We could say that. So like there's actually multiple ways on how you could like do this. So I'm gonna show you guys like two different ways on how to take away like health and two different ways on how to gain health. So let's say I play here right now and I touch this part. So let's load in. And if we touch this you could see that we our health is 50 right now so basically it made our health 50 and in fact what I want to say about this part is let's say the destroy didn't exist right so let's let's comment this out control slash so I'm gonna show you guys why I'm saying there's two different ways on how to do each step right now so let's go what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the part over here I'm gonna touch it and you see it's 50 right now Let, let's go into workspace let's go to the humanoid we can see and as you see right now uh, where is the health the health is 61 right now however if I try touching it again it'll make it 50 so it's not like subtracting so if I keep touching it it will never go lower than 50 because it makes it 50 so okay so if you're not satisfied with the first way there's another way and this way might be more efficient depending on the game purpose. 
So what we're going to do is after health, we're going to put a minus before the equal sign. <clears throat> so it should look like humanoid.health is minus equal to 50. So basically, actually, we're subtracting 50. For, so let's make it lower. So let's make the value lower over here so we can see the effect. And before we start scripting more, let's go over here to if humanoid then hit enter to create one line before the health. And now we're going to type part that can't touch equals to false. Oh, my typing skills got worse. And now I could put a task wait for like maybe three seconds. And now we could type humanoid. Not humanoid, but part that can't touch equals to true. And now we basically like each time that they touch it, they have to wait three seconds and like it just subtracts health. And we debounce a part two by putting like a can't touch. By changing its can't touch settings, we debounce a part. So now let's play right now. Let's see how our health is, guys. Let's see if we are a healthy person today in this Roblox world. And right now I'm healthy. I have 100 health. Now if I touch this, that is, it subtracts 30 for some reason. That's interesting. But it subtracts 10 now, guys. It, it subtracts 10, as you see. Like, it, it actually subtracts 10. But it was bugging for some reason. Let's try touching again. And I guess it depends on like how you touch it because I make the can touch false and then if that like glitches out a bit sometimes then what you guys could do to actually debounce is could put a task that wait for like maybe 0.5 and now it should like actually work with no problem because sometimes that just helps it out. So now if we go here we check our humanoid settings we are a healthy human being in this world. And now when we touch it, it only takes away 10. It doesn't take away like repeatedly before like the can't touch like goes off. Like it takes some time. And guys, this is kind of like the more of the day. Literally like take your time and do it right. It's better than just rushing and just messing up. So that's like the um, lesson of the day. And you can see that it works with this part. Like if I keep touching it, I'll eventually like die. Like I'm 69 right now. 60 minus 10. And I guess since I'm like really actually touching it, I guess sometimes it could glitch. But as you guys can see, I'm I'm close to dying, and if I keep doing this, then I'm dead. However, for this tutorial, I want to actually remove the part after the player touched it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove all this. We're gonna type humanoid.health equals to 20 and then part colon destroy so let's use this as an example now what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy the script from the um, kill part to the healing part and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit we could type plus 20 so we could add like 20 health and then after the part destroys and now when we play it in test we could see that our healing pad connects with that and it works so this is supposed to make a health 20 first and it made it 20 as you see but when we touch this it adds like some health to our thing so, you, so this is basically how you make a damage pill and a healing pill or pad heal whatever you want to call it but it gets the job done guys hope you guys enjoyed the video if you do please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye guys